just that little piece of drama there. We appreciate it. Here's another one you can get off that little record if you buy it. It's called uh, Sea of Tranquility, a.k.a. Boss Talk and Go Something Back of This.
it's been a lovely night. Don't you agree? You guys having a good time? Drinking some beer? Who's got the whiskey? Who's got the whiskey right there? We need to get together after this chat. All right. You guys put the bands coming up after us. We're going to do one more song. It's kind of a slow love song, so I hope you like this. Like I said, here's a love song. man so uh that song's called stingray and it has a dance you guys who knows the stingray dance anybody oh my god what to do okay it goes like this look at this we finish the song and do this ready we need you on this let's try it one more time ready right? Woo! Come on! Those guys rock! Look at that. They come on, they start just banging it out, the power goes out, they're like, hey dude, no problem. We'll just quit at whatever time. We want to keep the show on schedule, right? And then they come out, last couple of tunes, and burn it up again, right? Come on, King Pelican! Now, these guys have been big supporters of the cause for Roots in the Shadows. They were included on uh, album one. They were the second most airplayed band that we had off that record. Uh, and they've been uh, uh, supporters all along through season two. We're really thrilled at their generosity. We're really thrilled that people care about what's going on with what they're doing. And they're just, they've been great partners for this. Just a, a huge thanks on behalf of the Roots crew to you guys. But I, I'm just the marketing guy. All right, so uh, coming up next, uh, you know, they used to be Puppy Jet, but now they're the Brum Bars or something like that. I don't know how it all came down, but they're going to be rocking out pretty hard. But uh, at this point in time, it is time for y'all to uh, open up your wallets and purses. Uh, we got our wonderful assistants here, Adriana and Johanna, who are coming out here. They're running the merch table. They're running the video feed. They're helping out with all kinds of band hospitality. They've been doing a great job. So please, reward their efforts. Uh, help us send this music. 
Put some dollars in these buckets. These ladies are going to come around. We need everybody to throw some money in the jar. Everybody. I mean, go ahead. Pull it out. It's just a dollar. That's all we need. A dollar from everybody goes a, a long way. We're not looking to raise thousands. We're really literally only looking to raise hundreds. Because that money we can use, we send these things off. Roots 2, we're sending off to 300 different uh, media, news, and radio outlets that we're doing. So uh, this is Roots 3. Uh, coming up after, in fact, actually at this point, we are introducing Roots 3. Because uh, Roots 1 and 2 was all about Roots in the Shadows of San Antonio, which was all about that rock. It was about some wonderful uh, Texas music for Roots 2. Coming up for Roots 3, it's about P-U-N-K. It's Punk in the Shadows of San Antonio. You know, because it... There's a whole nother side of San Antonio music that, you know, the world has yet to see. So we've done, our, we've done as best we can with the wonderful budget that you all have provided us, which has been very generous over the past two seasons that we've done. We've done some amazing things with just everybody coming out and doing these things. Bigger and better and badder than anybody on any of those records could have ever done for themselves. It's been a wonderful collaboration. So here we are. We didn't even know we would get this far. I don't know, Phil, you want to come up and talk about what you've been doing? Come on, man. I was like, I'm just the marketing guy. You really want to know who's been lifting the weights and getting everybody and pulling the strings? Right here, Philip Luna. Thanks, Noah. Yeah, okay, so uh, Roots of the Shadows of San Antonio is an idea that uh, Jason Trevino uh, from a band called the Rosedale Highs and I had a couple of summers ago. And, you know, uh, doing, doing Roots number one was hard to do. We, we did a lot of small shows and K 